a success to our team is to have a cold club in every school in Iraq. Hi, I'm Nadia. I am the head of the uh, computer system department in Iraq. The thing that encouraged me to, to keep in computer science is my parents. They were very supportive and encouraged me in every step. Now I'm passing this passion to my students and my children and the children that I work with uh, at Cody Club. Uh, I always wanted to do a PhD, always wanted to do my postgraduate studies abroad and the opportunity came through the Higher Education Ministry for Iraq and I was lucky to get accepted at Brunel University. Through the Brunel Volunteering Office, I learned about Code Club. Um, as an international student, I always wanted uh, to experience life as it is, not just being a student, but being part of the UK, being part of the community that I'm in. One of those opportunities was volunteering here at Oak Farm Library, running a code club. It added to me, to my skills, uh, and at the same time, I was able to share my expertise with the young children and to learn from them as well. When we think about Code Club, we think of coding and children making games or they are doing a website. But Code Club is more than that. The outcome and the effect is beyond just the technical stuff. They learned how to work as a team. They learned how to communicate between each other. They learned how to be independent on their learning and how to teach themselves, debug, uh, find errors, solve those errors, help each other, share resources, all that skills, the ones that you can't find in a book or you can't take in a training. When I came back to Iraq and decided to have a code club, the first code club in Iraq, we started by giving training to trainers and we were the first code club within the organization to offer training to females only trainers because in Mason we you can find a doctor female you can find a teacher female but you can't find an ICT trainer now we are not just running in Mason we have different clubs in different provinces all together around nine or ten clubs now the second thing that I took with me was of course the resources uh, from the Raspberry Pi Foundation. Not every ch child has a, has a smartphone or a device. The foundation also introduced uh, the unplugged activities, which was amazing. It was very important uh, to us because we can use and we can teach computer science without the need for a computer. So I support the volunteers to translate all those resources from English to Arabic. The experience for the children they would have in a code club, they will take it through the whole, their whole life. It will stick with them until they are adults and they will remember being in a club, learning this stuff and working together.